Good evening. This is Akashwani Kohima. I'm Kathalena with the evening news. The headlines. Prime Minister Narendra Modi leads Rashtriya Ekta Diva celebrations from Ekta Nagar in Gujarat. MLA and advisor Martu Shilongkumar inaugurates Chief Medical Officer's Office Dimapur, emphasizes on Dimapur's role as a health care hub. Defense Minister Rajnath Singh says holistic development of the nation is possible only when Northeast region prospers. And RPP asked Nagaland government to give due respect to brave Jawans, suggests increasing TADA per Jawan for duty outside state. Now the news in detail. Prime Minister Narendra Modi today emphasized on the spirit of unity and warned countrymen against divisive powers that aim to break the integrity of the nation. Addressing the Rashtriya Ekta Diva celebration in Ekta Nagar, Kevadia in Gujarat on the birth anniversary of Sardar Vallabhai Patel, the Prime Minister underscored that the spirit of national unity is crucial for achieving the vision of Viksit Bharat over the next 25 years. आज वन नेशन वन आइडेंटिटी यानी आधार की सफलता हम सब देख रहे हैं हमने वन नेशन वन टैक्स सिस्टम जीएसटी बनाया वन नेशन वन पावर ग्रिड से देश के पावर सेक्टर को मजबूत किया हमने वन नेशन वन राशन कार्ड से गरीबों को मिलने वाली सुविधाओं को एक साथ जोड़ दिया हमने आयुष्मान भारत के रूप में वन नेशन वन हेल्थ इंश्योरेंस की सुविधा देश के जन जन को दी है हमारे इन प्रयासों के तहत ही अब हम वन नेशन वन इलेक्शन पर काम कर रहे हैं Emphasizing national unity, the Prime Minister said there are several challenges before the country that are posing a threat to the unity and security of the nation. The Prime Minister urged citizens to remain vigilant and to embrace the spirit of India's unity in diversity. कुछ ऐसी ताकतें बहुत परेशान है भारत के भीतर भारत के बाहर भी ऐसे लोग भारत में अस्थिरता भारत में अराजकता फैलाने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं वो भारत के आर्थिक हितों को चोट पहुंचाने में जुटी हैं अर्बन नक्सलियों के इस गठजोड़ को हमें पहचानना ही होगा हमें देश को तोड़ने के सपने देखने वाले को पहचानना होगा Prime Minister Modi said new history is being scripted in the country and India is emerging as a global leader. He highlighted that India today is a country which is progressive, inclusive, sensible and on the path of rapid development despite unstable global situations. Mr Modi said that the 150th birth anniversary of Sardar Patel would be celebrated throughout the country over the next 2 years. Earlier in the morning the prime minister offered floral tribute to Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel at the statue of unity in Ekta Nagar. He also administered the Ekta Diwas pledge to the people and witnessed the Ekta Diwas parade. MLA and advisor for labor and employment Martu Shilongkumar today officially inaugurated the new chief medical officer's office CMO in Dimapur. Speaking at the program Mr Longkumar emphasized on Dimapur's role as a health care hub highlighting the need for strong administrative support to enhance service delivery. He said that the CMO office will act as a central support pillar equipping health care leaders and staff with the necessary resources to address the diverse needs of the community. Unity. It is indeed an honor to join you today at the inauguration of this new Chief Medical Officers Building here in Dimapur. Today we mark an important milestone, not for Dimapur but for all of Nagaland, as we take a significant step towards strengthening our health care infrastructure. Longkumar also stressed on the importance of strengthening the administrative framework to ensure that health care services reach those in need, particularly the many citizens facing challenges in accessing basic medical services and dealing with high treatment costs. He acknowledged the efforts of health care professionals and administrators, noting their often overlooked contributions. In her keynote address, Chief Medical Officer Dr. Limatula Ayer said that the CMO office had 
previously operated out of the Ayush Mission testing center due to the poor condition of the old facility. He said construction of the new office building started in May 2022 after delays caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. Defense Minister Rajnath Singh said that holistic development of the nation is possible only when the Northeast region prospers. He said the government will create a Northeast that is strong and prosperous, not only naturally and culturally, but also economically. He said this after virtually inaugurating the statue of Sardar Vallabhai Patil and Major Relangnao Bob Kathing Museum of Valor at Tawang today. The Defence Minister carried out the inauguration from four core headquarters in Tezpur, Assam. He was supposed to visit Tawang but could not due to bad weather. Rising People's Party, RPP, has called upon the Nagaland government to give due respect to the state's brave Jawans who will soon be deployed to Jharkhand and Maharashtra for election duties in the months of November 2024. RPP in a press release suggested that the TADA per Jawan should be increased to 1,000 rupees at the minimum. While appreciating the respected, the respect accorded to ex-parliamentarians during the 6th 60th year celebration of statehood, the party requested the government to show magnanimity by addressing the harsh realities of a Jawan's life, particularly the low TAD for outside duty. RPP said such gesture would send a strong message that Naglin is indeed a mature state, having the heart and gratitude for Jawans who have been rendering selfless services for the state and the country. This is Akash Vani Kohima giving you the news. For quick news update, follow us on our X handles AIR News Alerts and AIR underscore Kohima. You can also listen to this news bulletin on News in our app and YouTube channel AIR News Kohima. Prime Minister Narendra Modi today celebrated Diwali, the festival of light, with brave personnel from the BSF, Army, Navy and Air Force at Kuched in Gujarat. Modi said the security personnel stand firm in the inhospitable of places and protect us. Modi said the nation is proud of them. Meanwhile, Diwali is being celebrated across the country with religious fervor. In Nagaland, the festival is being celebrated with Diyas illuminating homes and devotees visiting temples. Nagaland Chief Minister Nipio Rio has extended greetings to the Kuki Chin Mizo communities on the occasion of Chavankut. Rio said Chavankut is an autumn harvest and Thanksgiving festival. The Chief Minister hoped that the celebration will foster peace and strengthen long standing tradition of peaceful coexistence. The Department of Pension and Pensioners Welfare under Ministry of Personal, Public Grievances and Pensions has notified additional installment of dearness allowance to central government employees and dearness relief to pensioners due from 1st July this year. The Union Cabinet has approved 3% additional installment of DNS allowance and DNS relief to central government employees and pensioners. Central government pensioners or family pensioners will become entitled to a higher amount of DNS allowance and DNS relief from the existing rate of 50% to 53% of the basic pension or family pension. The nation is remembering former Prime Minister Indira Gandhi on her death anniversary today. Congress leader Rahul Gandhi and other senior party leaders paid tributes to the former Prime Minister at Shakti Sthal in Delhi. Congress President Mali Karjun Karge also paid tributes to Indira Gandhi. A cultural program was also organized at Indira Gandhi Memorial. And the seventh edition of Dimapur District Inter-Club Badminton Tournament kicked off today at DBC Indoor Stadium at United Colony. Gracing the occasion, Executive Engineer Power Transmission Kohima Namheo Kate said that badminton is a beautiful game that promotes health and well-being. He said many people find joy and fitness in playing, contributing to a richer quality of life. Altogether, 76 players from six affiliated clubs are taking part in the three-day event. The tournament is being hosted by Dimapur Badminton Club under the aegis of Dimapur District Badminton Association. To end the news, the headlines here again. 
Prime Minister Narendra Modi leads Rashtriya Ekta Diwa celebrations from Ekta Nagar in Gujarat. MLA and advisor Morty Shilongkumar inaugurates Chief Medical Officer's Office Dimapur, emphasizes on Dimapur's role as a health care hub. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh says holistic development of the nation is possible only when Northeast region prospers. And RPP asked Nagaland government to give due respect to brave Jawans, suggests increasing TADA per Jawan for duty outside state. That is all we have in this evening news bulletin. Good night. Thank <laughs> you.